Um, and here's the GE Cafe profile. We do a lot of profile with you guys. Customers seem to really like it. Um, do a lot of cafe too. The cafe's got some really nice, nice options. The, ca the cafe line has actually been the growth of GE appliances over the last five or six years. Mm -hmm. um, they have a lot of innovation. Um, the GE company is, they probably in the last three or four years have spent more on research development collectively together than all the other brands in the U S put together. That's, um, <clears throat> that's, I think it's probably in excess of $200 million they put into research and development. And it used to be when they were under the GE corporation umbrella, they were a copycat company. If something came out, they would just kind of copy it and okay. put their own little twist to it. But, but now, uh, the higher corporation, which is the owner of General Electric, uh, they have a goal uh, of being the number one appliance company in the U.S. by, I think it's 2023. Um, and they're putting, like I said, two to $300 million into research and development. They're coming up with all kind of new cooking equipment, uh, okay. really, really innovative refrigeration products that save okay. you money. Um, they're just doing a really good job and it's, and it's kind of been unique to see how cafe has blended into a mini mon GE monogram company uh, or not company, but line um, because they have a lot of the, the cafe stuff is stuff you can roll in and out of a hole like a refrigerator, but now they've brought in some big refrigerators, the built ins. Okay. And, and where monogram had a 30, 36 and 48 inch, Pro range, they brought a 36 and a 48 inch uh, Pro range into their lineup also. So now you can buy a 48 inch range and pair it up with a 36 inch roll in and out refrigerator. It costs three thousand dollars. You don't have to spend ten thousand dollars on the refrigerator. Oh yeah, that's so, nice. That's nice. Yeah. So they've got a lot of a lot of things going on within the company. Oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> Do you, I don't know how popular these ever were, but I found uh, a couple years ago. I found uh, GE back in the '60s had like a there was a wall hung refrigerator. Do you remember that at all? No, wall hung refrigerator. <laughs> yeah, like, like kind of like a wall cabinet. It was literally a wall hung refrigerator, a small one, but it was just sort of like a separate fridge for smaller stuff. I always thought that was a clever idea. Uh, I don't remember that, but maybe I, I need I've to look into that. that. Yeah, I, I, it was just all I saw was were like sketches, but apparently this, I, you know, I thought I understood they sold them at one time, but uh, I just always loved that idea. Refrigeration to me is one of those things that, like refrigerators these days are huge. Yes. And I feel like the way kitchens are changing and people are using them in so many different ways, like breaking up the refrigeration starts to make a lot of sense. Like obviously we have the under cabinet fridges for beverage, uh, people have separate freezers, but I even feel like in a walk-in pantry, there can be a small fridge and then a smaller fridge in the main kitchen. Um, I, we talk to a lot of clients who feel like, and even as a, as a designer, your fridge is your least favorite appliance because they're massive. And they're, you know, it's always a challenge. What do you do with the fridge to make it look built in or to make it kind of work with everything? Would you say that's right, Brianna? Yeah, I think so. Depending on how it looks. I mean, if you if you, you have the, are able to get like the nice built-in panel look yeah. and you know, that's definitely easier to work with but the, the bulky ones that you know if you can't do like counter depth and yeah so well, I'm just I was just curious if you'd seen seen that but I kind of I'm wondering if we're going to see some more refrigerator options out there to break up that storage a little bit um, well you're you're seeing a lot of counter depth is kind of catching on more for sure but but people, they still want capacity. Right, yeah. they want to be able to hold a bunch of stuff. Yeah. And that, they want, they want a sub-zero, but they can't budget a sub-zero. Right. Sub-zero is, you know, 28 cubic feet, and it's 11000 to $12,000. Yeah. And you can buy a GE Cafe full-depth refrigerator. It's also 28 cubic foot, and it's $37.99. Right, big difference. Uh, then if you go to a counter depth, you're down to 22, yeah. 22 cubic foot with uh, no dispenser, 23 cubic foot without a dispenser, and it's $24.99. Yeah. So yeah. It's just I like, a, I'm a big fan of the counter depths, but you do lose a little storage capacity. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's nice if you can have that, or if you have like all fridge, all freezer, or you have a, you know, a separate right. uh, beverage fridge, then like counter depth is the way to go. Yeah. We're, we're doing a lot of kitchens today where the, um, the main kitchen has nothing but a refrigerator unit in it. Uh, we do a lot of that with the sub zero and a lot of that with the Thermador stuff that <clears throat> they put nothing but a, a 36 inch built in refrigerator instead the of doing the twins. They, they put the freezer in the pantry. Yeah. 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 And, and we have a lot of cases today getting off subject though. We have a lot of cases today where we're selling uh, a steam oven instead of a microwave and they put the microwave in the pantry. So the pantry is getting loaded up with stuff yeah. that it has not been before. It's kind of like a, a mini kitchen. Yeah. yeah, it's like a prep kitchen almost. Prep, prep, that's the word I was trying to think was prep yeah. kitchen. Yeah. And yeah. I've got one job going on right now in, in Tifton where they've got a, a, another wall oven in the pantry. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, every, that. everybody has their own little twist. Yeah. We did a design webinar a few weeks ago where we talked about that exact trend where kitchens are really becoming a place to hang out and they need to be sort of pretty and clean all the time. And so these large pantries slash prep kitchens are developing where a lot of the work, a lot of the mess happens. And then the kitchen is, uh, you know, sort of a different experience, but yeah, it's a good way to do it. If you got, if you got the room. Some people who like love to entertain and have, you know, events at their house, they'll have like a whole separate catering kitchen mm -hmm. and that's got all that, you know, the oven in it and extra fridge and, so you can cook a lot for entertaining. Well, and appliances are becoming more and more like jewelry. Like you can see just from these pictures, the colors are getting really cool. You can change all the handles and stuff like that. They're getting getting really really pretty. Uh, so uh, the cafe uh, is a it's a it's a go to for us. It's a I think it's just a great price point. Tons of options. I love the cafe series. 